So today we're going to take a look at Dimitrios Janoulis, the lad who plays left back. This link will not go away. There is rumours that he has replied to a fan on Instagram saying he wants the Newcastle move. Let's have a look at him. So just who is Dimitrios Janoulis? We're going to take a look at some action with him from last week's game with Besiktas in the Champions League qualifier. But first of all, there's a rumoured fee to be around about €6 million. Euros. There is reports that PAOK want a bit more money, but his left back in Newcastle desperately need that. Has two years left on his contract. He's a now a Greek international with seven appearances. And also a fun fact is that his brother is also a professional left back. Now these are his stats from last season. Can play left back and also left midfield, but predominantly a left back. But as you can see the stat at the bottom, what stands out for you? Have a look. For me, it's his assists last season. Seven assists from left back the last season. Now I know it's the Super League, it's in Greece and it's not the strongest league, but that's an impressive start for left back. So let's have a look at the bit of Shikta's game. As I say, I've highlighted him. He's already on the run. And this is the thing that you'll see about Janulis quite a lot. He's already lost his man. He's into the six-yard box. Maybe he should do better, but you can see already how attacking he is. Now, in this clip, look how tight he wants to get. He comes out of position to get tight to his marker. He wins the ball back because of his pace. But watch, the, watch him now as he plays the ball off to his teammate. He's already on the run. And this is a fantastic pass by his teammate. But look at him highlighting. He's already bursting the gut to get down that left flank. He squares it back. And it's a goal. A fabulous assist. Great movement. Now this one I want to also highlight. Is because when he wins the ball back. His initial thought is right. I, I need to get forward here. I'm going to play this to Akpom. Rem remember him from his Arsenal days. And PTO care on the attack. This one, though, is his defensive bit of abilities, which aren't the greatest. I've highlighted the back 4-5 here, and you can see he's out of position. You can see where the ball's going to be played. This could so easily be a goal conceded. This is something that he's going to have to work on in the Premier League. But he also, on the positive side, he sees his man, he sees him early on this clip, gets tight to him, wins the ball back. But watch this, watch his speed. Look how fast is fast he is. He's going to play the ball out to the left. And then Peter or K are on the attack. But he doesn't hang about. He wants to join in. And the ball goes blazing over the bar. Now this one, again he's out of position. It's, a, it's an awful good it's an awful kick. But Janulis is out of position. He's got a burst of gut now to get back. And this reminds me of what DeAndre Edlin is good at his recovery because of his speed. He wins the ball back, recovers the ball well for POK. But defensively, we've already in a couple of clips in just one game is being caught out. And then the final clip, he gets forward. Akpom plays him off. Should do better here. Blasted over the bar. And there you have it. That is Janulis. Is this a good option for Newcastle going forward? Is Jetra Willems the best option? Is that a no-go because of his injuries? Is Danny Rose a no-go? We desperately need to strengthen the left back course. So we cannot rely on Paul Dummett going all the way through the season. And also Dummett is not great going forward. Let me know what your thoughts are on this lad in the comments down there below. Ta-ra everyone. Bye-bye.